guys, basically, this is going to be a bit of uh, zombie dead people makeup for Halloween because I'm going as a dead person for Halloween. So, right, I'm just going to see what it looks like. If it helps you, great. Okay, so I'm going to run through the stuff that I'm going to use. Foundation, um, pressed powder, which is about three shades lighter than my natural skin tone. I'll show you now. I don't know if you can see that. Basically, that's it. Um, I'm using black eyeshadow for a lot of um, definition. Red and grey eyeliner. And that sounds really weird, but it works. And yeah, I'm basically, I'm using a sponge and an eyeshadow brush because I can't find my blush or brush, and plus, you don't really need a blush or brush if you have a sponge okay okay so I'm gonna start with the foundation basically just apply it all over your face basically you end up looking very white like this Right, next thing I'm going to do is a cheek. I'm going to do this one normal, this side in like the normal uh, time. This side I'll speed up, so basically start with a line, right? So you go down underneath your cheekbone. You can't really see this, but this is just to help. Basically then, you get a sponge and drag the black down, okay? Now this will actually work a bit better if the powder was loose, but it's not. So, I do with this then, slide up a little bit with more light foundation so it doesn't look too dark. Okay, so basically, it's dark, then you light up with your powder. This is for really defined definition. <laughs> That's really stupid, but you need to budget in. So you have a line like this. Then what you want to do is take it up a little bit. Like that. So if you look, make sure to look hollowed out. Okay? I'm just gonna do the side off speed it up. My memory cut out like whilst I was doing the uh, this side of the eye, so I'm gonna have to show you how to do this eye whilst you not being able to look at it. Okay, basically to get this dark patch under here, finger, just use your finger, simple as. What you want to do? Don't make it too like dark, just as if you've had uh, not enough sleep. Just uh, pull it. Drag it, okay? So, just drag it down like as if you've got panned eyes. See, see this here? It's like a natural line to follow. Just go along that. So you look a bit blech. Right, then what you want to do, using a brush, is sweep along the eyeball. I'll try and do that. Sweep along the eyeball. 
Then we got full again because I had other pictures on there which I didn't realise I had. Okay, basically the part I just got to was sweeping this. I've done them now so I didn't even realise. Sweeping this brush along there to get that dark line above the eyeball. And then I went on to say if you thought it looked too dark, use this as an eyeshadow and then just go along the part that you think should be lighter, okay? So that then using the dark highlighter again, go in from the other corner just to above that mark there. So you don't make it a circle underneath, you just go from here down to there. Like you see, I think you can see it, hopefully. Then grey eyeliner to do a line underneath the eyelashes. You can use a, a brush dipped in water and then into black eyeshadow powder to get a dark line underneath the eyelashes and then a red one to do above the eyelashes on the bottom lid well it's not even the lid the bottom part and then up in the corner and then down in that corner like that so i don't know if you can see that but that's what i did next part do the forehead right so i'm going to show you this side first basically if you see like buffy the vampire slayer and stuff like that the gentleman or a good food like the one with the gentleman is a good one they'll bring a line down there from your skull so bring the line down and make them it as straight as possible right using the sponge go from the line and drag it like that right Simple, then. <laughs> so you're going to do the same on this side as well. Obviously this doesn't look amazing, but if you have pictures taken and then you edit them, they don't look too bad actually. So I was trying not to do it. I'll get the pictures up after of what I'm trying to do today. Not as good as, well, it's just not really good. But basically yeah, you're going to have these lines. That one's going a bit too much. So once again, if you think you need to correct it, just use your brush to do it. So really. Yeah, like that. Next we're going to do the chin. Because i got a quite predominant chin. So what I'm going to do is use a brush again. A bit of black eyeshadow, which I've got in my hand. What do you do? Like that, like that, then smudge it. Same on the other side. This, and then because I got kind of a bum chin, I can do the middle part. Oh, God. What? and do the other side then. And finally, the mouth. This is the corners. If you don't smile, you look fine. Lips. You got no blood in you, so you're not gonna have red lips. So foundation. Okay. 
Asia zombie. Tip top.